Hi guys, Hi guys my name is Jeff, Jeff Foxworthy. I'm going to tell some jokes. Cheers. Hi, Denver. You guys are looking good. A lot of attractive women here tonight. Over that. Hot girls with boyfriends can just stop being a thing whenever it's ready. I'm prepared for that. I, I used, used to live here. here. I used to live in Denver, and, uh, and I love this city. It's a great city. It is. I'm not just pandering. I really do. I like the name. I think my favorite thing about Denver is the name. It just, it's so, like, it sounds like you could, you could scream Denver while doing karate, and it would be totally fine. It's a great name for a city, great name for a dinosaur, not so much a good name for a person. Don't name your kids Denver. Especially if you live in Denver. That's just like, that's just, that just makes you, like, that's the, the life-ruining version of being the guy who wears the Green Day shirt to the Green Day concert. Like, you're just, like, it's, you're still the same asshole, but now there's real-world consequences. Um, you guys are great. I, uh, all my grandparents are dead, and that's probably a good thing because I don't want to know what they'd have to say about the way I live my life. You gotta understand, these are like people from the greatest generation. Like my dad's dad ran away from home when he was a kid, like when he was like 13 or something, worked on farms and railroads and shit. When I was 13, I pissed a sleeping bag at a sleepover <laughs> and then stared at a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figure on the floor and wondered what hell was like. <laughs> That's, I'm not winning any prizes with who I was at 13. The following phrase has escaped my lips on more than one occasion. Yeah, I saw Spider-Man 3. It ruined my life. I don't want to know what my dad's dad would have to say to that. I built railroads during the Depression. What the fuck is a Spider-Man? Man, uh, I should say this. I love my father. He's in the audience tonight. I do love him. Uh, but we had a rough patch when I was a kid. He didn't understand me, and, and I didn't understand him, and it's a very simple thing. He is from a small town in rural Iowa where everyone got along. Where, like, every, there was no breakfast club at his high school, is what I'm trying to say. There were no, like, my dad played clarinet and football, and nobody ever kicked his ass. So, but then I lived in a suburb of a bigger city, and I was the weird kid, and uh, I'm sure every comic here tonight knows what that's like. And the kids just didn't like me. I don't know, I never understood why, but they didn't like me. I didn't have any friends. And I remember I would come home from school, and I remember one day my dad was just like, Andy, what's wrong? Because he didn't understand the weirdness in my brain. Andy, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Why are you, are you on drugs? You're on drugs, Andy. Dad, I'm not, I'm not on drugs, I'm not. If you're not on drugs, why are your eyes so red? Why are my eyes red? Gee, Dad, I don't know. Maybe I've been writing suicide poetry since Tuesday. Maybe I'm 14 and I've never felt a tit. Dad, why are my eyes red? I've been crying for 14 years! Give me some fucking drugs! <laughs> and then they did. But not the fun drugs. I, um, I, you might notice I'm wearing a nice shirt. I'm wearing, it's a, it's slimming, it's dark. This is the look at me directly and you can't see that fat shirt. I, uh, it's, I, I once, I, I, I spilled food on a shirt like this and then went to a party and nobody said anything. And it occurred to me then that like the, like, the only way someone would ever bring that up to me is if I didn't spill food on myself. From the way I looked, they'd just be like, Oh, Andy, you're turning your life around. You're looking good. You're wearing a nice shirt there. Things are working out. If I spill food on me, people are just going to look and be like, Yeah, no, don't say anything. That's just his life. That's how he is. Man. Uh, Guys, there's a lot of guys here, a lot of men, people with penises. Uh, cool. Uh, let, me, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had that magical moment, that very special, romantic, intimate moment, where you uh, come 
at the exact same time as the guy in the porn you're watching? <laughs> that is a fantastic moment. You don't have to do shit. Normally, you know, the entire universe expands and collapses and everything you ever knew is gone and then comes rushing back and there you are with your fistful of shame. It's like crying milky tears of regret. And you look back up at that computer monitor and that guy is still fucking. With his tribal tattoos and his backwards hat and his junior college degree. Still fucking. Then you just gotta watch six hours of kittens fighting babies on YouTube. Maybe call your mom. I'm gonna tell you a quick story before I get out of here about how I learned I'm a terrible person. I was supposed to give a friend of mine a ride to the airport so that she could be with her family on Thanksgiving. I forgot. No excuses, just forgot. Had my normal morning of watching three episodes of Friday Night Lights with a gun in my mouth. And then, uh, Took a nap, turned my phone off, hoping to wake up to a world on fire. So it was a Tuesday. And I had 12 missed calls from her. And she texted me to tell me she missed her flight. That's not when I felt like I was a terrible person. That moment of revelation came a second later when my next thought was, I hope that plane crashes and there are no survivors so that she won't be mad at me anymore. Thank you guys, you guys have been wonderful. Please give it up for your host, The Wonder Dog. Our foreheads just touched.